So part two, we're gonna walk back out here. You can see dining room. Again, around that corner, you're going to have the kitchen and uh, your living space. We go upstairs. loft area and then this is like another master up here actually this is a huge room except it doesn't have um, a closet so it could be like a theater room or you could even make this a separate game room. Um, you can see how it's big. It has sliders right there. You have a pretty big closet here. Uh, a large bedroom here. Pretty big closet. So we're looking Markham Woods. Um, another closet. It's not a Jack and Jill, uh, but it's it's just a separate bathroom. So you have a bedroom here, you have a bathroom here, you have a bedroom here, and you have a bedroom here. So see another bedroom and then I mean they're all really big bedrooms so that's a plus you have another closet here you can just see like neighbor Okay, so three bedrooms upstairs. You have the full bathroom with double sinks and a stand-up shower with a tub. You have this kind of bonus loft area and then this just gigantic room back here that could be anything you wanted. So again, that's three bedrooms upstairs. This little living space here, your master, office, dining room. Except there's not really, wait, where's the other bedroom? So I got the three bathrooms, but I'm only counting, they're counting the office as the fifth bedroom because we just saw three bedrooms upstairs. There's that huge bonus room that could be turned into a bedroom. Um, but you only have down here an office and the master. So not quite sure how they came up with the five bedrooms. But you could make it work. Probably they said the office was a bedroom. Hmm. 